So what technology do you need as a solo freight broker working from home? We're gonna dig all into that in today's Q&A video. Welcome back everybody, I'm Nate Cross with Freight360. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, that way you get the latest videos that Ben and I release usually every single week. Now, today's question comes from one of our listeners and it's all about technology and what you need as a freight broker. Here's the question. Nate, what are your thoughts on what the common solo broker will need in the days ahead in regards to technology to keep up with the trends? We get this question quite a lot and we've done a couple of podcast episodes on technology for freight brokers as well as talked about it in a lot of our coaching sessions. So I've got a list here that I wrote down before this recording that highlights some of the minimum requirements that I think you should have as a broker plus some recommendations. So let's talk about first some basic home office setup items. Phone, internet, computer, right? An old boss of mine always said a freight broker needs two things their phone and their integrity. If you lose one of them, you're done. That phone is so, so important. You always gotta make sure you can stay in contact with your customers and your carriers. So if you've got loads posted on the load boards, you gotta make sure you can always vet those calls, talk to those carriers and see if you've got a good fit. So phone, internet, computer is gonna be your basic home office. I always recommend as well, have an all-in-one printer that's got print, copy and scan capabilities. If you've got some customers that are asking you to to hand sign something and scan it back, that way you've got that taken care of. So that's your home office. Number two is gonna be a good, reliable TMS platform. Now there's a lot of, lot of different TMS platforms available out there. We personally recommend Ascend TMS. We'll have a link in the YouTube video notes below. You get a free month if you use our promo code. But Ascend is a great option. It's only $69 a month and it gives you just about everything you need as a freight broker to functionally operate. Now, as your company grows and you need more functionality, maybe accounting integration or some other stuff with a lot of users, you may wanna look at some alternative options. And as you grow even larger, you may wanna even develop your own TMS. But the TMS is your day in, day out operational platform where you're managing customers, all their shipments, tracking all your carriers, doing all your track and trace. That is your one-stop shop and that's your software platform that you will use every single day as a freight broker. So definitely a TMS. Next is gonna be your load boards. This is how you're gonna post your loads that you have available from your customers on the internet for the available trucking companies to see in case they have trucks that will match up with those loads. On the contrary, or I guess on the other side of it, carriers are also posting their trucks on there. So it's kind of a matching website which will match brokers' loads with trucking companies' available trucks. So make sure you have a good load board that you can use that for. Um, we, we partner with DAT, you can get a free month of any of their three load boards. Use the link in the show notes or in the uh, YouTube video notes here to get a free month of the DAT load boards. Next is gonna be carrier vetting. All right, DAT off, also offers a, a product for carrier vetting. We'll leave a link in the video notes as well. But carrier vetting is so important. You wanna make sure that any carrier you're thinking about using has the proper insurance, they have the proper authority, you can see how long they've been in business, and you can also see if anyone else has reported any kind of negative issues with that carrier. So carrier vetting is gonna be very, very important. It's not technically required, but it is, in my opinion, it's a must have and a high recommendation from us. Next is gonna be customer vetting, all right? So customer vetting is a little bit more subjective than carriers, because obviously with a motor carrier, there's gonna be requirements like insurance and authority, but customers, you wanna make sure that this customer is reliable to pay their bills if you're gonna extend a credit line for them. So using a company like an Ansonia or Dun & Bradstreet to be able to check the credit on some of these customers to find out what is their average days to pay? What is the recommended credit line to extend to them? What is their risk score, right? These paid for services such as Ansonia will give you a snapshot into a customer's credit worthiness. All right, next is rating tools. All right, when I say rating tools, I mean what is the average market rate for a truck in a certain lane right now, okay? Now, DAT has a product for this as well. We'll leave a link in the show notes. It's called DAT's Rate View. Now, with Rate View, what you can do is you can type in any origin, destination, put the equipment type in there and any kind of specifics, and you'll get historical data and averages on what it costs for a broker to pay a carrier to haul a load in that lane. Now, keep in mind, the market can change very, very frequently and very often, especially in today's market. So those should be used as a reference, not as an end-all be-all. Next is gonna be your accounting software. 
How are you gonna invoice customers? How are you gonna pay carriers, track commissions, all your other vendor bills? A lot of TMSs will not come with accounting built in. So that's something you should, you should consider when you're looking at a TMS platform. So you might have to look for integration with a company like QuickBooks or Great Plains. There's a lot of options out there for accounting, but at the end of the day, you need to make sure you understand what money is coming in, what money is going out, and are you actually profitable? Finally is the CRM. This is your customer relationship management system or CRM, okay? I personally use HubSpot. Some TMS platforms have a built-in CRM. The whole point of a CRM is so you can manage all of your prospects, all of your customers, track your notes, emails, contact information, all that stuff and house it into one online platform. I personally like HubSpot myself. They have a free version that you can use or you can even get a paid for version as cheap as I think $50. So. Uh, just to recap, those main tech tools that we outlined today, your home office setup, phone, internet, computer, your TMS platform, your load boards, carrier and customer vetting, rating tools, your accounting system, and finally, your CRM. So thanks again. Keep sending questions in. We love to answer them. Again, hit that subscribe button down below. That way you get the latest YouTube videos from Ben and I from Freight360, and we'll see you on the next video.